Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and welcome back to another exciting tutorial of After Effects. In today's tutorial, we are going to create a digital kind of backgrounds using some simple but important techniques and you don't need any kind of third party plugins to create this. It doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or a pro, anyone can learn this animation and take their projects a level up. So now, let's take a look on the preview. It may look very complex at the beginning but trust me this is super easy to create and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to create your own unique backgrounds after watching this video. So without any further ado, let's quickly roll the intro and jump into the After Effects. Alright, here we are in After Effects and as always we will start by creating a new composition and let's call this as dots and for the dimension we will go with 1920 by 1080 which is full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color is complete black. Now hit OK. Then we will simply do a right click anywhere in this timeline, go to the new and we will add a solid and let's call this as D1 for dots1. Hit OK and then let's go into this effects and presets tab and if, if you don't see this tab on our screen you can always go to the window and make sure this effects and presets is checked. Right. Now let's quickly search for an effect which is called fractal noise. Just drag this effect onto the top of the layer and we'll simply change this noise type to spline and we'll increase the contrast to let's go with 650 and we'll bring down this brightness to minus 120. Okay. Then we'll hold Alt or the Option key on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch of evolution and we'll simply write an expression which is time times 80. Okay and what this expression will do is it will keep on animating the evolution as you can see on your screen and this is what I really like about using expression because you don't have to drop any kind of keyframes in order to animate something. Right. Now let's go back into this effects tab and we will search for another effect which is called CC ball action. Just drag this effect onto the top of the layer again and we will increase the grid spacing to 10 and we will bring down the ball size to let's go with 50 and you will inst instantly see a lot of balls animating very randomly and this is happening because we have already animated the evolution. Right. And now in order to give a nice color to our balls we can use a tent effect on our layer so just drag this effect onto the top and let's choose a nice sky blue color like this hit ok and now if you like glowing objects then you can also add a glow to this so just drag this glow effect onto the top of the layer and quickly increase this glow radius to 20 ok now after adding all of these effects on the layer what we can do is we can simply select the layer hit ctrl or command d on the keyboard to duplicate it or you can also go to this edit and click on duplicate right now select the layer and we'll go to this evolution option and increase this random seed to 50 and we'll also change this color to yellow like this and hit ok and again let's duplicate for the last time and Go to this evolution option and increase the random seed this time to 100 and also let's pick up a nice purple color like this. Hit OK and now select all of the layers and we'll set this mode to screen and we will immediately see a lot of colorful balls moving around in a random manner and this is looking really really cool isn't it and I think we can change this purple color to red OK and now this is looking much better and after doing all of these things what we can do is we can simply create a new solid and let's call this as ramp hit ok and we will apply a gradient ramp onto this that's why we called it as ramp so just drag this effect in this effects window and let's change this to radial ramp and also we'll scale down the preview to 33 and we'll place this point right here at the center like this and also we'll 
bring this down like this okay and now let's place this at the very bottom and also let's go to the layer and we'll pre-compose it and this time we'll call this as map and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and then let's quickly attach a adjustment layer and we'll call it as effects okay and on this layer the first we will the first effect we will add is a noise so just drag this in this effects window and we will add a noise of 5% the next effect we will search for is a bulge just drag this again here and increase this horizontal and vertical radius to 1200 like this and the last effect on this layer we will apply is a camera lens blur and we will simply in the layer we will choose the map and we will again create a new solid and let's call this as bg and we will simply place this layer above this map okay and now if you select this effects layer and if we increase this blur radius you will see the scene is the animation is getting blur it seems like the camera is focusing somewhere at the center right so now What's happening here is the gradient ramp effect that we have applied inside this map composition is actually driving this whole blur effect. And that means the darker the area, the less blur it will be, right? And now I think 79 is way too much. So let's decrease this value down to 50. Yeah, that's the sweet spot. And if you want to increase or decrease the number of dots in the animation, you can anytime play around with this brightness and contrast to increase or decrease the number of balls right so after this we can simply select all of the layers and we will keep it copied right and then select all of these d1 layers just the three layers right and then go to the layer and we will simply pre-compose it and let's call this as even for element one okay and after this we will simply apply a motion tile onto this layer just drag this onto the top of it and we'll simply drop a keyframe on the tile center and then let's go to around seven seconds okay and just simply move this in the x axis just like this and also don't forget to increase this output width to let's go with 300 okay and now if you see the animation it's going to look something like this yes this is looking really awesome and don't forget to click on this mirror edges okay and then let's quickly grab the text tool and let's type in anything you want so i'm typing high tech backgrounds okay and we'll simply place this layer at the very top and i'm using this gotham font which is freely available on the internet or you can also download it from the link in the description okay and let's quickly place this at the center okay i don't have this align tab so i can go to the window and click on this align and let's place this at the center okay and now it's time to add a simple animation so click on this arrow go to the animate and we will add an opacity okay then open range selector and decrease the opacity all the way to zero go to the very beginning drop a keyframe on the offset and go to around two seconds and increase the offset back to 100 percent and open advanced section scroll down a bit and we will turn on this randomize order okay and we can also add one little effect which is a blur and let's increase this blur amount to 12 okay and after doing this much we can add a border to our text so just grab the rectangle tool and just drag or make a border like this and also let's place this at the center okay and let's expand this window a bit and now on top of everything else we need to add one final effect which is nothing but an optics compensation just drag this onto this adjustment layer right and now select the layer click on this reverse lens distortion go to around two seconds and then 
Drop a keyframe on the field of view, go back to the very beginning and we will increase this amount all the way to 180. Okay, and we're also going to animate this border. So first of all, hit enter and let's rename this to border. Okay. And then click on this arrow, go to add and we will add a trim path. Open trim path one, go back to the very beginning, decrease this end amount all the way to zero, drop a keyframe and then go back to two seconds and increase this end amount all the way to 100 again. And now just hit you to see all of the keyframes, select all of them, hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and then go to the graph editor. And if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you're working in this edit speed graph, not in edit value graph. And then select this handle, hold shift on your keyboard and drag this all the way to the left like this. And now if we see the preview, it's gonna look something like this. Yep, this is looking fantastic, but I think we can slow down this animation. So press you to see the keyframes and we'll simply move this keyframe all the way to 10 seconds. And also for this layer, hit you and we will convert these two keyframes by holding control or command on the keyboard and then click any one of these keyframes and it will convert them back to the normal keyframes, right? And now if we see the preview again, and yes, I believe that our first background is now all ready to roll. So I think it's the best time to create one more background using some different techniques and effects, right? So in order to do it, we can go to this project window, select this dots composition, then press Ctrl or Command D on the keyboard to duplicate it and we will see the dots too. Then open this up in the timeline, select all of the layers and just get rid of them. And we will simply paste the layers that we just copied few minutes ago, right? And then what we can do is we can simply remove this map layer as well. Okay. And we'll also delete some effects from this adjustment layer, which is bulge and camera lens blur. And after deleting these two effects, we'll simply search for a new effect, which is called mini max. Just drag this into this effects window and we'll place it above this noise effect. And let's quickly increase this radius to 12. And then we'll simply select this D1 layer in the timeline and we will go to the settings of CC ball action and then we'll simply increase this grid spacing to 15 and we'll bring down the ball size to 10 and we'll do with this second layer as well. Increase it to 15, decrease it to 10 and for the last time increase again to 15 and decrease back to 10. And we'll also change the color. So let's go with a nice orange color. Okay, and for the first layer, we'll also change the color to something purple this time. Hit OK. And now we can select any one of these three D1 layers. Just copy it and paste it and place it above this adjustment layer. And then open this evolution option and we'll simply increase this random seed to 150. Okay, and if you want to change the color, we'll simply go with a nice sky blue color again. Hit OK and then select all of the layers, go to this layer, click on pre-compose and we'll call this as elements to hit OK and then again go back to this effects and presets tab and we'll search for the effect which is bulge, drag this in this effects window and then we'll simply increase this to 1200 and we'll also increase this vertical radius to 1200 okay and then let's add a camera lens blur to this so just drag this into the effects window and we'll also need this map composition so drag this into the timeline and let's select this top layer and we'll simply select this map from the drop down and let's quickly increase this blur radius to 50 okay and we will again get the same blur effect and after this we'll add a motion tile to this okay so just drag this again onto the layer and then let's quickly drop a keyframe on the style center and let's go to around 10 seconds and let's pull this down to something like this okay and in order to get rid of this the space we just need to simply place this motion tile on top of all effects okay and we'll also click on this mirror edges and now if you see the preview it's gonna look something like this
and yes even the this background is almost ready but i think we can change the color of these blue dots to orange so let's quickly open this e2 comp and then select this layer and we'll simply change the color to orange hit ok and now let's go back to this dots composition and select these two text layer and the border copy it and again paste it here okay and let's quickly change the text to let's go with this time as digital okay and then we'll simply go back to the dots for the last time click on this adjustment and we'll simply copy this optex compensation and we'll again jump back to the dots to create a new adjustment layer let's call this as optics okay and then we'll simply paste the effect that we just copied and now if you see we'll again get the same effect i think something something has went wrong right so i think we can hit you and let's quickly drag this keyframe to the very start and now if you see this is what we will get right and now if we want to apply the optics compensation on this text layer so what we all have to do is to create a new adjustment layer and let's call this as OC for optics compensation and then click on this effects and we'll cut this optics compensation effect like this and simply make sure to start the very beginning and then paste it on this layer and we will get the same effect right here in front of our eyes right and yes we just witnessed the entire concept of how we can create these digital looking backgrounds in just a few minutes but you can still play around with the settings and create your own unique and creative animations right and i really forgot to mention that this project file is available to download from the link in the description so yeah that's a wrap up for today guys i hope you really like this tutorial and learned something new and if you really did then make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you keep on receiving the notifications whenever a new video is uploaded and if you are searching a template for a project then don't forget to check out our website and download the template that suits you the best lastly don't forget to follow me as motion street on instagram and i'll see you in the next video till then keep dreaming Keep creating. Peace out.